So you want to learn more about cybersecurity. That is absolutely awesome and you're in the right place. So hit that subscribe button. However, there's something that you absolutely have to know before you continue in this journey. And make sure that you do stick until the end of this video because I'll be tying what we're about to learn to both red teaming and blue teaming. So definitely stay tuned. And with all that, we're starting right now. Now, we're not only just learning one thing, we're actually technically gonna be learning three things. And if you haven't been able to guess what we're about to learn about right now, we're learning about the CIA triad. The CIA triad is absolutely fundamental to the rest of your cybersecurity journey. Everything else that you learn actually will come from somewhere in the CIA triad. Everything from the really cool hacking video or bug bounty program that you saw online, it ties to this. Every single InfoSec professional, myself included, we can all tie our career, really, and our specific job title to a specific area within this CIA triad. And if at any time I mention a concept or a topic here in this video that you may not quite understand, check out the rest of my channel. I might have already talked about it. And if I haven't, let me know down in the comments and I will absolutely get something out for that as soon as possible. So what is the CIA triad? Well, let's talk about it. It, goes, it stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So what do I mean by confidentiality? Simply put, is this data secure from prying eyes? From this corner, we get things like permissions management and encryption. The goal obviously is to make sure that only the right people have access to the right information, nobody else. You can probably infer that from the title. Is this information confidential? Okay, if so, who has permission to check it out? And if you do not have permission to check out that specific information, clearly you will not be allowed to have access. That leads us to the second term I, integrity. Is this data secure from being manipulated? We can confirm that data hasn't been manipulated by using hashing. Uh, if you're not familiar with hashing or encryption, check out this video. But hashing basically is a unique value that you can derive from a specific piece of information. And if anything about that information changes, literally if you change a lowercase a to a capital A, that entire hash changes. And so you'll be able to immediately check, okay, these two hashes don't line up, something has been altered. Oftentimes you might see whenever downloading a program online, you'll see a, a SHA-256 hash or a number of other hashes listed. And you can make a hash of whatever it is that you're downloading and compare it with the hash that you see online. And if the two values match, then you know that you're getting the right package. If they don't match, then you know that something might be wrong. Something else we do to maintain integrity is patching and vulnerability management. We really wanna mitigate uh, integrity flaws as much as possible. And so that's why you'll get like Patch Tuesdays, for instance, where you know we're constantly out looking for different ways that you know a system can be undermined and, and use and the integrity could be violated. And so we implement those patches to try to decrease the likelihood that that integrity could again be violated. Next is availability. Simply put, is the data available whenever users need it? In a previous video, I said that the Facebook outage actually was a cybersecurity issue. Even though it didn't have to do with attackers, and there was, you know, there, it wasn't because malware got executed in the environment. It was entirely a networking issue. It was a cybersecurity issue because what are we tasked to do? We're tasked to uphold the CIA triad. At the end of that is availability. And simply put, systems were not available to clients. In fact, Facebook lost billions of dollars over the five hours that their systems were offline due to lost revenue and reputational impact. So a lack of availability really does play a huge role in our jobs. It's not all just defending against hackers. A lot of the time it's defending against, <laughs> a lot of the time it's just making sure that things aren't falling apart due to a bad networking configuration. Or let's say like a natural disaster like a tornado or a hurricane doesn't completely wipe the business out. Now unfortunately, and I think it's just because this is kind of the less sexy side of cybersecurity most of the time. This is an often overlooked element of cybersecurity. You'll see so many people talking about hackers and hacking and all that stuff. And, and that absolutely is a huge part of what we do. However, a lot of the time it just has to do with making sure stuff is available. So I said that I was gonna tie red and blue teams to the CIA triad, and that's exactly what we're about to do. But first, don't forget to hit that like button if this video is providing value. 
Now, before we dive into this, if you're not already familiar, red team basically means the offense and blue team means de defense. By offense, I'm not exactly talking about bad guy hackers. I'm talking about white hat hackers. But really simply put, in cybersecurity, you'll see people hacking and they are basically getting paid by a company to hack within a specific scope and report their findings. And then again, on a blue team, you got defenders defending against the white hats, but they're also defending against the black hats, the criminals out there. Uh, that are trying to actually do bad things. So obviously the red team is there to audit the CIA triad. They're really there to make sure that the con that information really is confidential, that access to that information and, and the integrity of systems is, is maintained and that the availability is not impacted by anything. And of course the blue team is trying to uphold all three pillars. And it really is an everyday ongoing battle. Sometimes an update that's designed to improve the integrity of a system might impact availability of another system. A perfectly available system may not have 100% integrity. On the flip side, a 100% confidential system will not have 100% availability by nature. The CIA triad is a spectrum, and where your organization falls within that spectrum is really up to the leadership and you know what is their risk tolerance? It all stems from a risk assessment. And so you really have to come up with a determination on your own on what value you place on all three of these pillars and then how you can best execute these to get the most of out of all three without impacting the business. Now, we just went over a lot. So definitely like this video, leave a comment with any questions you might have. If there's a question that you have that could be another video, let me know in the comments because I'm sure that from this, I mean, there are so many directions you can go in your cybersecurity journey. And this is exactly the channel that you should be at. So definitely scroll through what I have already. Uh, and, and if I don't have anything that you're looking for, let me know down in the comments. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.